So we are talking about a screen gate model, which is a very serious model of measuring what year bankruptcy, corporate failure is the topic that we are handling, right? And the most important thing you're supposed to understand under screen gate is this number line. The number line that uh, gives us the threshold of corporate failure, of corporate failure, of corporate failure. So should we get, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our Z value should also be computing Z value, which for example is like 0 0.4. Our threshold is 0 0.9. Anything below 0 0.9 means that uh, our company is what year? Our company is bankrupt. If we calculate a Z value, and then we get a Z value like say 10, like uh, for example 1.8, which happens to be more than 0 0.9, then automatically we shall say that uh, our farm is what year? Our farm is successful. Our farm is successful. So 0 0.9 is a threshold, and that is what you're supposed to cram. Why? Because in your exams, you will be given the formula. So you'll be given the formulas here for these models here, for these models. So we are told here in December 2021, December 2021, December 2021, question number three, Carl. The following data relates to Caban Limited, a company that operates in the manufacturing sector for the year ended 31st December 2020. So they have given us the sales, they have given us the total assets, they have given us the total liabilities, we have retained the earnings, we have net working capital, we have earnings before interest and taxes, we have market value of equity here, we have book value of total liabilities, the company is currently paying interest on a loan, long-term debt instrument amounting to 905,000 per year. So interest on the loan is 905,000. And the company's total liabilities is constituted in the ratio of two is to five between current and non-current components. Using the Springgate model, assess the financial health of the company. Note, the Springgate model takes the following form. Z equals 1.03A plus 3.07B plus 0.66C plus 0.4D. And then they have given us how to compute A, B, C, and D. So for A, they would want us to calculate it using the working capital. B is the operating profit. And then C is the profit before taxes. And then D is the sales ratio. Sales ratio. The sales ratio. The sales ratio. Ah, very easy. Ladies and gentlemen, I would want you to appreciate uh, this formula. This formula, what have we said in this case here about the ratio A? Ratio A is the working capital. Ratio A is the working capital. So ratio A is the working capital. Ratio A is the working capital. Ratio A is the working capital. Very important. I want us to appreciate this, that ratio A is the working capital. And then we have a ratio B. Ratio B is the operating profit. You see, operating profit is the same as earnings before interest and tax. Earnings before interest and the tax. That is ratio B. And then now we have ratio C, which basically is earnings before tax. I mean, you have already subtracted interest. You have already subtracted what year? Interest. You've already subtracted interest. And then we have got the D, which is the sales ratio, the sales ratio. So remember that these three have a common base, total assets, total assets, total assets, total assets, total assets here, those three. But uh, when you talk of EBIT, you will come here and divide this with current liabilities, current liabilities. Remember TA is total assets, TA is total assets. CL stands for current liabilities. This is how we get uh, the four ratios under the spring gate model. So under the spring gate model, this is how we shall be getting the four ratios. This is how we shall be getting the four ratios. So have you been able to write them down, these four ratios? Once you write them, could you kindly put a thumbs up? Can you put a thumbs up? Can you put a thumbs up to show me that time while we are okay with these ratios? So here we don't make use of the water mass. There are two different models, two different models, two different models. So I would expect to see some 
thumbs up. I'm not seeing any thumbs up. I'm not seeing any thumbs up. I'm not seeing any thumbs up. Or just a mention of the word yes. Just a mention of the word yes. This will really be very good for me. A mention of the word yes will be very good for me. Yes. Great. 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 Thank you so much. So then what we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, very fast is to calculate these ratios. Is to calculate these ratios. Is to calculate these ratios. Is to calculate these ratios very fast. And please remember operating profit. I've always seen my students getting it wrong here. Operating profit is the same as profit before interest and tax. It is the same as EBIT. EBIT is earnings before interest and tax. Very important. So let's calculate this together. Let's calculate this together. I love this. I love this. So go to the information given there and be able, ladies and gentlemen, to identify the working capital given. In most cases, they will never give you working capital directly. In most cases, in most cases, ladies and gentlemen, they will be giving you guys current assets, current liabilities. A good student knows that working capital equals current assets minus current what year? Liabilities. Working capital equals current assets minus current liabilities. In this particular exam, this examiner was a lenient examiner, was a lenient examiner. Uh, in this case, you can see they gave us this working capital as 1777. So I'll simply come and take negative 1777, negative 1777, and in brackets, all over the total assets of the company. The total assets of the company have been given down here, 49, 579, 49, 579, 49, 579. So could you kindly give me this figure in four decimal places? Four decimal places. Is there someone who can give me this figure in four decimal places? It will be negative point something. It will be negative point something. Four decimal places. Four decimal places. My K, my K, my K. My K. So are you able to give me these figures, ladies and gentlemen? According to Liz Mathia here, we have negative 0 0.0358. So negative 0 0.0358. Thank you and thank you so much. Thank you and thank you so much. Which number and year? Which number and year? It is December 2021. December 2021. It's December 2021. Question number three, cow. Question number three, cow. Question number three, cow. Thank you very much. So they're giving me this figure, and all of them are uh, agreeing. It is negative 0 0.0358. From there, we go to ratio B. So ratio B, we have EBIT divided by TAR, divided by total assets. So EBIT, have they given me EBIT here? Have they given me EBIT here? EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes, 2605. So 2605, 2605. 2605, 2605 over total assets of 49,579, which will be equal to what year at the end of the day? Is there somebody who can give us this figure? Is there somebody who can give us this figure very fast? A bit over total assets, 2605. So Isaac Obai gives me 0 0.0525, 0 0.0525. Thank you very much. From there, I would want a good student from the information given, I would want a good student, thank you very much, Liz, for confirming. Lynette, thank you very much. So I would want a good student to come and give me EBT, earnings before tax, from the question that has been provided here to us. So many students in this semester were not able to get EBT. They were not able to get EBT, earnings before tax. Many of them could not get earnings before tax. Is there somebody who can give us these earnings before taxation? This basically means that uh, you go to the EBIT given earnings before interest and tax, you subtract interest. You subtract interest. So to get EBT, EBT, you can come and take here EBIT minus interest. All over now CL. Fortunately, we have the EBIT 
of 2605 minus the interest provided. Interest provided in the question is here. Interest provided in the question is here. Interest provided in the question, the total that the company is currently paying interest on a long term debt instrument amounting to 905, amounting to 905, amounting to 905, amounting to 905, which in this case, according to England, they met. And the more risk, they are getting 1700. So 1700, again, the other thing that so many students were not able to get here is the current liability. The current liability, many students were not able to get it. You see from this question here, they told us, and the company's total liabilities is constituted in the ratio of two is to five between current and non-current. So two to five. So this total liability given here of 50, 44, the current will be two. Two out of what? Can someone talk to me? I want to get a fraction of the current liability, of the current liability. So I should take two out of what? I should take two out of what? So many guys took two out of five, which was pretty wrong. They took two over five, which was pretty wrong. Should be two over seven years. You guys are great. Should be two over seven years. So it will be two over seven times the total liability of 5044. Times the total liability of 5044. So it should be two over seven times 5044. Which will be equal to what? Can somebody give me this figure? Two over seven times fifty forty four gives me what figure? Somebody here. Two over seven. I only want you know here they want current liability. There they want current liability. They want current liability. They want current liability. They want current liability. So they're giving me Elizabeth fourteen forty one fourteen forty one according to Elizabeth it's fourteen forty one point. 1429, 1429. Then could you kindly give me the final answer? Minetti is also confirming the same. The Lima is confirming the same. Thank you very much. Could you kindly give me the value of C? Kindly give me the value of C. Kindly give me the value of C. The value of C, John Mutiani. Good to see you again. John is very a very aggressive student. So Isaac Obai is giving me 11,796. 11,796 with a decimal there. 11,796 with a decimal there. 11,796 with a decimal there. Now from there, and gentlemen, let's go straight away to D. So D, they want us to work with sales divided by total assets. So sales divided by total assets. Sales divided by total assets. Sales divided by total assets. I can see the sales here. It is 25, 678. So sales is 25, is 25, 678 divided by our total assets that we're so much used to 49, 579. So in four decimal places here, these will end up giving me what figure? In four decimal places here, these will end up giving me what figure? Is there somebody who can help me tonight? 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 Anybody who is able to help me tonight? Anybody who can help me? 5179. 5179. 5179. 5179. 5179, 0.5179. I've been able to get the four components. Isaac, did you have it wrong? Did you have it wrong? I can see you being sorry, Isaac. Or you had a problem in decimal, no problem. Never apologize. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. Now, the gentleman having really gotten this, having really gotten this, now the next thing is to consolidate. All of these four values that we have using the formula, the spring gate formula, which the examiner will always give us, which the examiner will always give us, which the examiner will always give us. And this is the spring gate model. So we have Z equals 1.03A. It's given, it will always be given. Don't go cramming it really. It will always be given to us. It will always be given to us. So they're giving us here that Z, Z, Z equals. 1.03a plus 3.07, 3.07b plus 3.07b plus 
zero point six six C plus 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 zero point forty zero point forty. So then, ladies and gentlemen, in this case here, what should we do to be able to get our A? What should we do to be able to get our A? So not our A, but our Z. So Z will be 1.03 times uh, negative 0 0.035A plus 3.07 times boy. Boy, already we know boy, the value here is 0 0.0525 plus we have uh, 0 0.66 cow. 0 0.66 cow, cow is 1.1796 plus 0 0.4 dog, and the dog is 0 0.5179. 5179. So then at the end of the day, what figure are we getting here, ladies and gentlemen? At the end of the day, what figure are we getting here as our spring gate? As our spring gate, as our spring gate. So Gladys Moore tells me 1.111. 1.111. 1 1.111. Is there anybody who can? Ah, and the human has also confirmed the final answer is supposed to be 1.11. 1.11. The final answer is supposed to be 1.11. The final answer is supposed to be 1.11, like that. So then from the threshold the figure that I gave you, I gave you some number line. Are you able to make a comment about this company called Caban? Is Caban a bankrupt organization or a liquid organization? Is Caban bankrupt or liquid? Liquid, yes, it's liquid. Because we know, we know the threshold. We know the threshold. We know the threshold. We know the threshold, ladies and gentlemen. Our threshold really, our threshold really, our threshold really is 0 0.9. Below here, bankrupt. Anything above, successful. Successful means what, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, this company is liquid. And we can see really our figure here is 1.1, which is more than this. So this is more than this is more than 0 0.1 here, more than 0 0.9, and therefore. Caban Limited is a liquid organization, is a liquid organization. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be uploading this particular video on my YouTube channel. And I would want you to go and watch this video over and over again. Do you guys know the name of my YouTube channel? And of course, when you watch a video from my YouTube channel, you need to subscribe. So that now in the future, when I upload it in there, I don't really have to be reminding you to subscribe and of course you ring the bell. Ring the bell, that's very important. That's very important. Great, great. Let me just send you the link right now. 